My name is Alex and I'll be anchoring the show today. Our topic today is apple picking. Since the, season, the fall season is already here, I wanted to talk to you about the, a place that you can go locally for apple picking up to Halloween. Now on to news with Olivia. 120 COVID-19 clinics planned for kids are upcoming to, uh, to upstate New York. Governor Kathy Hochul announced this plan Tuesday during a press conference in New York City. Pop-up clinics will take place at schools, community centers, and libraries. Shots have been approved for kids ages 12 to 17. Yesterday, U.S. District Judge Michael H. Watson dismissed all the outstanding lawsuits against Ohio State University that claimed the school officials failed to protect students from Dr. Richard Strauss. Watson said there was no question that the victims suffered sexual abuse at the hands of Strauss and that coaches and school officials knew about it and did not stop it. But they did not move forward because of the 20-year statute of limitations for criminal rape cases in Ohio. Strauss victimized hundreds of men from the mid-70s to the late 90s, dying by suicide in 2005. The attorneys of the victims, a law firm, and a nonprofit litigation and advocacy group have all vowed to appeal the rulings. On September 21, 2021, the House of Representatives voted to prevent a government shutdown at the end of September by raising the nation's debt ceiling, allowing them to cover outstanding bills already incurred. Government funding is supposed to end on September 30th. By affixing the debt limit suspension to that much needed bill, the Democrats are encouraging Republicans to vote no and invoke a shutdown. The bill faces a tough challenge in the Senate where no Republicans are coming out in support of it. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Math League will be having an inspirational meeting, inf ins okay, meeting on Tuesday, September 28th after school in room G7. If you are thinking of joining the team, please come to the, this meeting. It will not take up the entire after school time, so you can still go see another teacher. Any questions, please see Miss Pelkey in room G7. Music Monday, 927. Tropic, tropical Tourist Tuesday, 928. Color Wars, Wednesday, 929. Seniors Black, Juniors White, Sophomores Pink, and Freshmen Blue. Throwback Thursday is 930, and Seniors 80s, Juniors 2000s, sophomores 90s, and freshmen 70s. Orange and Blue Friday will happen on October 1st. More information. So this weekend, my family and I went to Abbott Farms in Baldwinsville during the f their Fall Fest, which is going, which is running through October. We come back from weather. I'm going to talk about the activities and which apples are in season. Today we will have a high of 76 with possible thunderstorms in the afternoon. Tomorrow we will have a high of 69 with partly cloudy skies. Saturday we will have mixed sun and clouds with a high of 73. The rest of the week will be mostly rainy with some sun on Wednesday. I'm Gabby with your weather. Apples in season were McCoon, John and Max, Paula Reds, Ginger Gold, and Macintosh. There were also other activities such as tube slides, face painting, a corn maze, and the apple cannon. There was something for the whole family as well as their farm shop with donuts, pies, and cookies. Now on to sports with Lucas.
the Houston Texans at 8:20. The girls' varsity soccer team has a game as their senior night against Oswego at 5:30. The boys' soccer team plays at Oswego at 5:30. Tennis plays at West Genesee at 4:30, the and the gymnastics team has a meet at JD at 5. And I'm Luke with your sports. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, so from me and everyone else here in the studio, have a great day.